Hello everyone! Today I wanted to do the question and answer video, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. If you want to see if I answered any of your questions, if you asked me, then you can keep watching. But if you want to ask me other questions and if you want me to do a part two, you can ask me some questions in the comments down below or go to my picture on Instagram, which I'll link down below as well. The next time I ask you to ask me any questions, you can ask me some questions on my Instagram as well. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first question comes from my fiance and he asked me, are you single? <laughs> Do you think I'm single? Okay, the next question comes from Fatma Öndar and she asked me, do you have a skincare routine? And yes, I do have a skincare routine. Let me go get the stuff and I'll be back. So now I brought them here. I'm going to start off with what I remove my eye makeup with and that is with the Garnier Micellar Water. And I also use baby wipes to wipe all over my face. And then I go into all of these skincare items that I'm going to be showing you. You might think this is a lot. Okay, the first step is I go on with this Eucerin, I think that's how you say it. I'll always link things in the description box because I don't pronounce things properly. And it's for sensitive skin, gentle, hydrating cleanser. Yeah. It's like this clear consistency, like it's kind of jellyish. I don't know how to describe it. You know what? I don't know if you can see but that's what it looks like. <laughs> what I do is I mix it in between my fingers like this and then it gets into like this sticky consistency and then I apply it all over my face and this kind of gets rid of the excess like dirt and makeup off my face. Okay. After that's done and some dirt and makeup is off my face, I go in with this age defying facial scrub and you can kind of see what it looks like here it's like this oatmealy grainy consistency and it smells like pomegranate i've showed this in one of my favorites videos a long time ago and i still love it so that's what i've been using and i love this petals fresh botanics age defying facial scrub and it's perfect for all skin types yep then what i do is I wipe my face with like a paper towel or sometimes with a normal towel. Then I use this. This has like a similar consistency to this one, but I use this one at the end because it's like this brightening cleanser. So I apply this all over my face and then I just wash it all off the same way I do with the first one that I showed you. And yeah, that's it. Did you think that was excessive? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, then for like, Moisturizing my face, I always change up my moisturizer. I don't have any moisturizer that I really love, but I do have an eye cream that I've been loving and I use a lot, and this and that is the Kills Midnight Recovery Eye. And yeah, that's what it looks like. I feel like this when I use it regularly, it gets rid of my dark circles a little bit. I don't know about the fine lines, it probably doesn't get rid of that, but it gets rid of like the darkness. Yep, and that's my skincare routine so the next question comes from my fiance's sister my sister-in-law Zeynep Özyun <laughs> she asked me what was the makeup you used when you first began I used to use only literally two things it was mascara and sometimes I used a concealer or like an eyeliner concealer I started using in year 12 but eyeliner and mascara I started using when I was like in... Eyeliner I started in year 8. But I just used to use a blue eyeliner like on my waterline and that was it. That was all I used to use. It was by Avon. And then I stopped using it for a little bit because I wasn't allowed it in school. Then in year 10, year 11, I got into like using more mascaras and then just a little line on top of my eye. Like a, not like a wing, but like you know how you just line up above like minor stuff. It was more thin as well. I used to just apply it like that and then I used to just apply mascara and then cure my eyelashes. The mascara that I used to use was the Maybelline Colossal. I used to love that. I used to use it all the time and 
Let's have another favourite, I can't really remember. I think the Covergirl Clump Crusher or something. The orange tube and the green tube I used to like. But I used to be like a mascara freak. I had a lot of mascaras back then, so I can't even tell you one exact one that I used to use. But I remember I used to love the Maybelline, the Colossal. Then, for concealer, the first concealer that I started using was in year 12. And it was Maybelline Fit Me. I used to have number 10 and number 15. I have number 10 and number 15 now as well, but they're new ones, you know, they're not from back then. So yeah, I used to use number 10 and 15 and that was it. Like I used to sometimes apply like 15 underneath my eyes or like 10 underneath my eyes. And that was it, like I didn't use it all over my face or anything. And yeah, that was all I used. And when I started like getting more into makeup, like in uni, I used to apply a BB cream. And my favorite BB cream was Maybelline pure BB cream. I have that. I've showed it in one of my videos before as well. It's like in this blue tube. It says for oily skin, but I've got like kind of dry skin and it still works on me. It doesn't cover a lot of your like redness or pimples or anything, but it's like a good cream to like begin with. Like it still has really good coverage, I think, for a BB cream. And yeah, Maybelline was the brand that I loved and I still do. The next question comes from EX Eda, and she asks me, what are your favorite brand of makeup and why? My favorite brand of makeup, I've got many favorites, but Maybelline used to be my favorite. So drugstore, I would say Maybelline. I like Bourjois. For high ends, I like MAC. MAC, Too Faced. I don't know, I don't have any favourite, I just like different products from different companies but Maybelline used to be my favourite so I guess that has a special place in my heart. Yeah. And why? Did I answer why? Yeah, I guess I like these makeup products because they work well on me. <laughs> the next question that comes from techleadad underscore r dot t underscore e. There's your type, Erdogan. <laughs> What do you use if you have very, very bad chapped lips? Right now, I have a liquid lipstick on and on top of that, I put a lipstick. Like usually, that would look cracked on your lips, wouldn't it? I use the Colourpop one, by the way, the Ultra Matte. But if I use this before any of my lipsticks and I apply it like 10 minutes, 15 minutes before I apply my lip colour, it smells nice as well, but I think it smells nice. When I apply this, it goes on so smoothly. That's why my lips look like this. And I bought this off iHerb. It was really affordable. I think it was under five dollars. So I'll link this and the link to it to iHerb in the description box down below. And yeah, you should purchase this. Like try it, and this will change your life. It's better than Vaseline. It's better than like those Maybelline baby lips. The baby lips used to kind of give me chap lips actually. Like I like Maybelline, but what is that? Anyway, yeah, I like this. Then Fatma and Dad asked me a question. She asked me, "What? What's your fave high-end makeup? Okay, makeup brand or makeup brand? I would say. I oh know I've got a lot of favorites. Mac and Too Faced. Let me just say right now, they're like my favorites and my makeup. My favorite like high end makeup product would be the Makeup Forever HD sticks, like the foundation sticks. They're amazing. I love them. And what else do I like from high end makeup? I just like everything from them. Like high end makeup performs differently than drugstore makeup, even though they're kind of similar sometimes and they can work well as well. But sometimes the high end one has like different skincare benefits in it. That's why it's more expensive or sometimes they're just overpriced for no reason. Then Samira X asked me a question, how old are you and do you go uni? I am 20 years old, I'm turning 21 next year on January 10 and yes I do go uni and I go for science, so yeah I'm studying biotechnology. I am. No! Then Isra Talib asked me, what's your advice to girls who want to start a YouTube channel for makeup? I would just say, start. 
you know, you can always wait on getting any equipment that's expensive or any other products that are expensive. If you have products that you can work with and just show it, just start. But if you're afraid of the hate comments, which I was, that's why I didn't start for such a long time, I would just say just ignore it because those people don't feel good about themselves. So all they do is go on the internet and then fake an account or like just write something to you. I don't know. That's my thought. Then make up a storm asked me how old are you? I already answered that, I'm 20. And she said, are you born Muslim? Yes, I am born Muslim. People actually at uni as well, sometimes they get called like a convert. Like they're like, did you convert to Islam? I'm like, no. They say, cause I look white, I look kind of Australian. Or I look different nationalities. I don't know, maybe I do. Because I was born and raised here, maybe I kind of got the look. I don't know. <laughs> then she said, how old were you when you started wearing a hijab? And what inspired you to start wearing it? You're so pretty, mashallah. Oh my God, thank you, you're so beautiful as well. I was, I think I was 12, but I'm not really sure because when I started wearing the hijab, I used to wear it like back sometimes, but because I used to go to school, I used to go to a school that you have to like cover and put a scarf on. I used to put on a scarf there, but when I used to get home, I used to just take it off and stuff. But then I used to go to this like Quran place. It was like a course. And people that were there when I was learning about Islam, I kind of got more and more into it. And then I wanted to wear the scarf. Yeah. And I'm happy. Okay, now my brother asked me a question. <laughs> he was right here before, by the way. He was behind the camera. <laughs> he said, do you have siblings and what are their names? Yes, I do have siblings. I've got two. I'm the oldest. I've got my sister, which is like two years younger than me, called Bushra. And then my brother, which is 12 years old. I'm older than him, but like eight years or something. Called Fatih. He's the one that asked me the question. Then the last question that's on here is by Zuhud. I love you, Zuhud, by the way. Hello. She asked me, if you were told you could only wear one makeup product for the rest of your life, what would it be? If you asked me this like a year ago, I did the 20 random facts about me, I would have said mascara. But right now, I'm not really sure because I think I might say concealer. Yeah, I think I might say concealer. I think that, was, that would be the product that I would use. I think I even mentioned it in that video, I might pick concealer and mascara and I'll stuff between it. But I think I'm more leaning towards them, like the concealer side and the mascara yeah and that was it that was all the people that asked me the questions i'm so happy you all asked me if you have any other questions as i said at the start of the video you can ask me them and i'll answer them and i'll make to a part two so yeah if you liked my video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more videos from me yeah i'll see you all in my next video bye everyone